Groups from our area joined hundreds of others across the U.S. tonight. Or of Maplecroft Mansion just ahead. Well, she is Fall River's legend, surrounded by intrigue and mystery. Of course, we're talking about Lizzie Borden, once accused of taking a hatchet to her father and stepmother. This week, for the first time, we get a glimpse of her home life. Robin Costello takes us on an exclusive tour. Fascinating woman. She's a fascinating woman. She did exactly what she wanted to do, when she wanted to do it, and she survived it. Today, Lizzie Buff's got a first ever look inside Maplecroft. This is where Borden lived after she was acquitted of murder. She stayed here for 33 years until her death. Some people say she named it Maplecroft because of the maple trees on the property. She just kind of put her personality into the house. I just wanted to go inside just to be where Lizzie was. The Doobies, owners of the house for over a decade, made it happen. This is the second of uh, the six fireplaces. That Michael Doobie was six years old when his family moved in. It's been off limits to tourists until now. The house is full of arches and custom-made radiators, bay windows and artwork, all to Borden's specifications. If you'll notice, there's a portrait of Amanda Borden that was one of Lizzie's cousins. The ceilings are linen imported from France along with the beams. It's an oak trim. Upstairs in Borden's bedroom, her favorite poem is inscribed on the mantel. One can uh, decipher it however they want, but uh, I personally believe that Lizzie really didn't like being separated from society, that she did enjoy having company. Borden never regained the respect of her Fall River neighbors. Little did she know, 100 years later, they'd be lining up to see her home. Robin Costello, 6 News, Fall River. By the way, the Doobies have decided to stop their tours and go back to private life. Robert Doobie said it just got to be a little too much. I understand that. Understandable. Have people come into your house. Well, that's six news on this Thursday.